the Sadly, sorry, it's uh, very unusual to leave court at the end of a case with unanswered questions, with disclosure requests that the prosecution is still outstanding, and for the whole world to know that a miscarriage of justice has taken place. Sadly, it's not unusual for that to be as a result of uh, alleged uh, prosecution malpractice. Now, as the judge was said, it's instructed to contrast the behaviour of these defendants and these protesters generally with that of the police. What the judge said about these defendants in the written notes that he gave uh, on sentencing are include the following comments. You are all decent men and women with a genuine concern for others, and in particular, in particular for the survival of the planet Earth in something resembling its present form. The judge went on to say, I have absolutely no doubt that each of you acted with the highest possible motives. And also commented, it is certainly unique when neither judge nor jury need question the veracity and the motivation of any defendant. Now those endorsements by the judge of these defendants sit in stark contrast to what we think may have happened within the prosecution team. And this is the reason why it's increasingly important for there to be an independent, robust, judge-led inquiry into the Kennedy affair and into the use of undercover police spying on the protest and political movement generally. That's the whole little statement. The contrast was made, as you've made, but went a bit further than that and went on to discuss the, the, the judge said about the 20 defenders that they'd been acting on the extreme boundaries of legality. Presumably you would make that same likeness to Mark Stowe. There are serious questions about what the police have done and what Kennedy have done, has done. We don't know from official sources what Kennedy's done, but it appears from what he said in his exclusive newspaper deal that he has been operating at the extremes of legality. And the bigger question, I think, is whether he went within the protocol that he was given by his minders. If he was within that, then what is the state doing authorising his conduct? And if he did not uh, comply with his protocol, why was he allowed to do this? What were his managers doing? So either way, the Crown and the police have serious questions to answer about Kennedy's activities. And why don't you think that the IPCC could get those answers for you? The IPCC has defined its terms of reference extremely narrowly. It has narrowed itself to just the question of disclosure, which is not all that this case is about. This case throws up the whole issue of the undercover spying by the police on peaceful protesters. And we heard what the judges said about these people. They acted with the highest motives in peaceful ways on issues that are aimed at protecting the planet as it is now in some form resembling its current state. So uh, the 20 then must be seriously considering appeals now? We've got to look very carefully at what the prosecution say in response to our requests for disclosure. The ball really is in the prosecution's court to provide us and I think the public with an account of what it had, what the police had and why they haven't disclosed it and why they dropped the case of the 20, uh, why they dropped the case of the 6 uh, on the doors of the court and why they didn't disclose it to the trial judge in this case. And it's important and significant that this trial judge appears to have had no knowledge of the Kennedy material. He knew that uh, Kennedy had hired a vehicle, but that's it. Why hasn't the Crown gone to this Crown Court judge and explained what they had on Kennedy? Well, I mean, it's, obviously we don't know what we don't know at the moment, but in terms of the, and this has been, the protesters have been in trial here, 
but the way things go, you'd obviously like the police to be in a criminal trial over this. Yes. Well, the criminal trial of these 26 campaigners in this court is over, and yes, the ball is now in the prosecution's court to disclose, and the spotlight must fall on the murky activities of the police and their compliance or, or otherwise with their statutory obligations to disclose material and avoid miscarriages of justice. And let me be clear that this case of these 20 appears to be a miscarriage of justice. But do, you, do you think the crimes been committed here in terms of the way evidence appears to have been compiled? Many questions have been asked about what's happened, but the point is we don't have the facts. We haven't been told anything by the uh, official channels. The Crown Prosecution Service haven't been, even confirmed that Kennedy was an undercover police officer, that he was a serving officer at the time, that there were tapes or anything. They haven't told us anything and they need a lot, of, lot to explain. And I think the scrutiny must be on the police and the Crown in this case. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Mike.